man goes to the coast of an island to be alone. He has gone as far as he can for now. It's called retreat. A great distance is not always far enough when the mind is as restless as the ocean you're sleeping beside. This man is seeking solitude and in so doing has brought the loneliness into his own heart. I'm sure he knew this would be the way of it, but he still put one foot in front of the other. You have to face it sometimes, learn. The barren landscape has seen worse. He reminds himself of the continued struggle and erosion that is life. He thinks that's a cliched metaphor. A famine village is deserving of more. He looks out at the ocean all too often, the primal part and I'm wanting to rage in the deep blue. And yesterday was Valentine's Day. And around the table he was told of a tragic love story of a man who after he buried his love, climbed to the top of Bola's head and threw himself to the depths. After this story, the man made the same trek. And it'd be so easy to climb the rock walls, pass by the sheep in the fields and dive, never submitting, but knowing it's a fight never to be won once submerged. There's something honest in that though, he thinks, is there? Never submitting. Those rocks are patient hunters. How much violence have they caused by simple stillness? Then bird song called through the air. Like so many times, it's called my wife from a dark edge. Like so many times, it's the simple things in his life that save him. Fond memories, curiosity. He could have sworn he saw the Fibonacci sequence in a spider web earlier. This reminded him. Instead he'll walk on into the wind which numbed his face yesterday while a warm heart pounds on beneath all the layers. He can go so far and it's never enough. You can learn to be still and it'll come to you. You can think of moving rocks, battling nature, arranging words in some fashion, aiming for legacy. This is redundant. You fucking know this. Leave your ego at this pagan peninsula. Echoes of trauma are just that. Time for silence. You're here. Now. The man notices the bruise in his knee is fading. The salted air is already healing. Later, he'll eat eggs and light a fire. Later, good things will come to pass. He remembers this right now. As he sits still, warming his feet, ready to wander. <laughs>